Hello there! This is Opal Ryan Sisters! And with all those solo trailers, uh, which I'm not completely impressed on, of, but I'll still go to see the movie, well, just because I'm a Star Wars fan. Uh, and with all of them being released, I thought it's a good time to make a plot prediction for Solo. Now, I still didn't finish my episode 9 predictions, but those will have to wait. Because Solo is coming out quite soon, so um, I will have to make these predictions first. Warning! Nothing you hear in this video is uh, uh, truth. It's just my prediction and it is very unlikely that any of this will happen in the movie. But... Enjoy. The movie starts out in an Imperial Academy where Han wants to take a job as a pilot. Basically, he speaks to this Imperial officer who makes him very excited about this job. And Han is basically telling, like a narrator, the story of his early life like we saw in the trailer where he's talking about I've been running scams on the streets since I was 10. And uh, we have some flashbacks and uh, basically Han just narrating the story of his life before this uh, point where he came to the Imperial Academy to become a real successful pilot. However, there is more than one reason to why Han came into the Imperial Academy. The first one is, of course, to uh, get the license to basically be a very good pilot. But that's not what he actually really wants. The main reason why Han has come to the Imperial Academy is because some anonymous creature or guy uh, basically wants to pay a lot of money to the one who will bring him some very important data uh, from the academy. So Han has, wants to infiltrate the academy to steal this important data to get all this incredible amount of money. Han meets this old guy who basically also wants to get this money. However, he can't really do it himself without any help so he is like putting together a crew to steal this de data tape and uh, take it to the unknown guy however while on this planet where they basically meet they encounter this tribe which also needs this money well they basically want it so they want to steal the data tape first before our heroes. There is a quick fight between the leader of the tribe and the tribe and Han Solo and everyone. But at the end, uh, Han Solo and the other members of the crew escape because the tribe is very powerful. Uh, but the tribe is still following them with a homing beacon basically placed on uh, the Millennium Falcon, Lando's ship. Uh, and Lando is also part of the crew. Han succeeds in stealing the data tape with the important files on it. However, Darth Vader gets a very cool introduction as he is angered that the Imperial soldiers let the data tape be stolen. You have allowed this Imperial officer to infiltrate the Academy. You should be ashamed of yourself, officer. Send all your TIE fighters and get this data tape back or destroy it completely. So basically, after that, the Star Destroyer one of them, sends a lot of TIE Fighters to basically chase the Millennium Falcon and bring back the data pay tape or destroy it completely. Han manages to fly away from it, 
from the TIE Fighters, crashing some of them. However, it is a very cool action chase. In the end of which, the Millennium Falcon gets damaged and crashes onto a snow planet. Lando gets angered on hand for damaging the Falcon as it is still in his positions and uh, Han hasn't won it yet. Remember in Empire Strikes Back, basically Lando, we find out that Han uh, basically won the Falcon from Lando in a game. Well, the game is not uh, right now, so Lando is very mad at Han for basically ruining part of his ship. Basically, there is a bit of romance between this new girl character, who is basically, in my prediction, part of the crew, and uh, Han. There is a bit of romance, uh, he is basically f a bit f flirtatious with her, however, it all ends after the tribe from the planet arrives on uh, uh, onto this planet because they want to steal back the plants uh, or whatever the data tape carries. However, uh, because remember they put the homing beacon on, so basically now they arrive there. However, Han is very quick and he uh, finds this very old transport, sort of a train, and he activates it, uh, stealing it, and then they are driving away, and it's a chase. The leader of the tribe is basically fighting Han on the top while they are driving crazily through the mountains. In the end, the... Our group basically destroys the train by going back onto the Millennium Falcon and uh, planting explosives onto it. And when they already fly away, they explode it and the other tribe uh, eventually it's now gone because they basically explode. Or did they? They arrive onto the planet, which is basically the planet where they had to come, where they will meet the guy who basically ordered the data tape and give it to him, with him giving all this money to them. Conveniently, they jump into the old guy who basically formed their group, however was absent for the most of the story. He is very lucky to see them alive. He says that he's been searching for them like a lot of time and that finally now that they're here, he will uh, take the data tape to the guy himself. However, uh, after they refuse to give it to him, not really trusting, he begins shooting at them, as it turns out that he was actually working for Darth Vader all along, trying to protect the data tape so that no one gets it. Because uh, basically Darth Vader promised him um, a lot of fame and uh, instead of money. So they fight resulting in Han throwing the old guy off the cliff. Yeah, I know it's kind of brutal, but I mean, it's all right. And uh, basically, Han and everyone t take the data tape to the palace on the, this new planet. The palace is basically like Jabba's palace, only much more sort of new and it looks very fresh and everything's in gold and there are dancers there are a lot of frogs and uh that is where they meet the actual guy who ordered the data tape and it's not a guy it's Jabba the Hutt so this is how Han Solo and Jabba the Hutt first meet, with Boba Fett and Greedo standing on the sides. Fan service. So basically, what is next is Han gives Jabba the data tape and collects a lot of money. 
they then after everything they just uh he basically just leaves this woman because I didn't think of that. Uh, I let you think of that, and if you have any good ideas, leave them in the comments below, uh, and I will pin your comment if I really like it. Uh, so basically, he leaves her, and then they and he and Lando play in a game, uh, resulting in Lando losing the Falcon. The last shot of the movie is with Lando uh, staring uh, a bit evilly, however uh, sort of nice, of into the sky where the falcon uh, starts flying away. Then the force theme is like... Da, 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 da. And the falcon goes into the sky and there's this very nice shot of it flying away. <laughs> with Lando looking at it a bit sadly, however, that's the end. And then it's... And this is my prediction. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Share to a friend. That would really help. And click that notification bell to stay up to date with all my content. Follow me on Facebook. However, right now it's blocked. So I suggest you just wait. I'll tell if it gets opened. Oporensis is out.